National Signing Day. We just spent time with Teresa Grintz, the first year head coach at Lafayette College, and now the old coach at Lafayette <laughs> College, head coach Fran O'Hanlon, coming off a Patriot League championship. And now here we are looking at the class of 2020. And uh, coach, first of all, uh, you open up on Friday night against the GW, George Washington University. We'll see you on Sunday when St. Peter's comes here. Uh, so obviously we're getting geared up for some basketball. I'm sure you already are. Absolutely. And I'd like to say the experience coach, <laughs> it'll be, it sounds a little bit better. Um, but as far as, uh, yeah, this is a great time of year. It's exciting. We're, pl we're starting our season. I know our guys are excited to start it. We've been going through the preseason now for, uh, uh, seems like forever, but it's about mm -hmm. uh, seven, eight weeks. And, uh, you know, uh, we have a real tough uh, matchup. Uh, this weekend's a really tough matchup for both these teams. But starting with GW, they have almost everybody returning from a team that was in the NCAA last mm -hmm. year. Uh, and they're having, they have high expectations for their team this year. And uh, so it's a great home, op I mean, a, a way opener for us. You know, uh, we'll certainly be ready and go down there and compete. Things that are concerned that are concerns for you, and things right now you feel really good about with this team. Well, I think you probably could get some old interviews of mine uh, and Always. rebounding. <laughs> concern, <laughs> you know, uh, that's one of the things. And then we have a number of guys that are going to be put into new uh, roles this year uh, that have not done that right now. So I think we're a work in progress as far as that's concerned. That uh, we're going to see how this team develops uh, and what the personality of the team is going to be. Um, so that's, uh, but rebounding is always one of my mm -hmm. concerns. Mm -hmm. Losing three 1,000 point scorers is one thing, but losing guys who have been in the system for that long and that many minutes. I remember one year when you lost five guys that really overachieved. It was Rob Delaney's year. And I remember talking to you afterwards and you said, John, it's going to be tough this year. I lost all my teachers. So much of your system depends on that peer interaction. Who are the guys that are taking that role for you this year? Yeah, and you're right. And just to go back on what you just said, uh, Alan Flanagan was another one that was a great right. teacher for us. I know we lost the, the scoring, but Alan did a tremendous job as well. Uh, Nick has been tremendous, and, and Bryce has been tremendous as far as being uh, uh, teachers for us. And, and Nate's done a good job with, because learning the inside is, is not easy, you know, because you have to be able to play off the other big guy and off the guards. Uh, so I, I think that those guys have been doing a good job for us, you know, uh, in the preseason. Any surprises? Um, not so much, John. It's, uh, you know, as I said, it's, it's kind of new, uh, and, but I do see us getting better. One of the things from the first uh, day we started out until the last uh, couple practices, we're getting better, there's no doubt. Uh, but obviously you have to test yourself against other opponents, and that's what we're going to be doing this weekend. Fran, your bench often looks like a uh, toll booth on, at 5 o'clock as people are <laughs> in and out and in and out. Uh, how's your depth this season? I don't know that guy right now. You know, I mean, I, what I do think is that we're going to be a better team in January because some of these guys are going to get some experience, and we're going to have to figure – they're going to have to figure out their roles, you know, how they're going to fit in. and. Uh, um, you know, if I were to start starting out right now, way, after I get to seven or maybe eight, I'm not sure who that's going to be, you know. Uh, sometimes it's after six, you know. Uh, but there's there's talent there, and then we just have to kind of bring it out and uh, and, and figure this out. Fran O'Hanlon's teams can always shoot, and I assume this is going to be one of your better shooting basketball teams. I, I'm not sure if it's one of, after last year's team, it's going to be very difficult mm -hmm. there, Gary. Uh, we will shoot the three, you know, the basket's always open to the Leopards. Um, but as far as uh, one of my better shooting teams, I'm not sure if that's going to be the case. But although I do think for some, for example, Zach and Bryce uh, shoot the ball as well as anybody that we've had. Um, they're not as big as some of the people like a Seth or a, a Joey Chizinski. So they don't have as easy a time getting shots off, but they can shoot the basketball. Well, I know you went out and recruited uh, some shooters uh, for the class of 2020. Let's start with uh, the first one. He's a 6'4", 190-pound guard out of Houston, Texas. I'll ask you how you found him in a bit. Hunter Janasek is his name. We'll take a little bit of a video of him. And Fran, tell us about Hunter Janasek. Well, he is one of the better shooters uh, coming out of high school in, in Texas. And uh, we've kind of gone to the well in Texas a few times. This year's class mm -hmm, has mm -hmm. two guys from Texas, uh, or the, in the school, uh, the class I just brought in. And Hunter is somebody from Houston. He uh, there's kind of a com common theme with our our early signees. 
They have good basketball IQs. They are gym rats, which Hunter is. Uh, they're very good students, and they come from winning programs. Uh, his coach, Martin Wall, does a terrific job. Um, but he's, uh, we're, we're excited about Hunter. He's a combo guard. He can mostly at two. He can really shoot, score the basketball. But he handles the ball pretty well as, uh, as well, and he's got good size. He's 6'4". 19 points a game, six yes. rebounds a game, six assists a game. Sounds like a guy that would fit in very nicely with your offense. Yeah, we're excited about having Hunter, uh, as I said. Uh, and one, one of the other things is Hunter is, uh, as I said, the theme of this class. He's a gym rat. He's, mm -hmm. If he's not a, in the classroom, he seems to be working on his game. Uh, it's, it's interesting, Fran, because the two things that, after watching you for all these years, the two things that point, come out to me, it, I can't help but think that the two things that are, are, are most important to you, obviously getting the big guy, because you always refer to rebounding. You've got to be able to rebound the ball. So the quality big guy that can fit into your program, we saw what Danny Trist did for us last year. But then basketball IQ. I mean, you're always going to attract shooters because of the style of play. Kids who watch us play and can shoot the ball want to come here. Um, but finding that intangible, that basketball IQ, and I saw that in Anasek, I think he's, a, yes. he's, got, he's very skilled and very smart. Absolutely, and, and that was uh, one of the things in coming in with this class. I wanted the IQ for some people that had an understanding of the game that could, you know, he, they're a connector. They can, they can pass the basketball. Uh, and as I said, that's the theme with these guys. They all share the basketball. They all can make shots, but they do share the ball. And you saw he has six assists a game, uh, which is huge. John talks about finding. How do you find a young man from Texas? Well, with the AAU uh, tournaments anymore. Now, there's scouting services. He had heard about the Patriot League. He's a very good student. Mm -hmm. He was interested in the Patriot League, so we knew that from some of the scouting services. And um, for us, we've seen him on the road uh, as far as uh, Pat saw him, Coach Doherty saw him. In the April period, we're very impressed. I had a chance to see him in the uh, in the July period. And um, as I said, we we loved him and he fell in love with the school fortunately we we talked to Teresa Grentz uh, previously about about the the uh, the aura of the AAU or the uh, uh, the current theme of AAU all over the country you also we've had a pipeline years past the Germantown Academy guys that play for Jim Fennerty down there we know what we're getting fundamentally when these kids come in what are your impressions Fran is your job made more difficult because kids are it's one it's it's kind of a double-edged sword they're playing all the time but the problem is they're playing all the time. Oh yeah, <laughs> you, you go out and you see some players that you're very interested in. And speaking of, of recruiting Germantown Academy, we recruited uh, Jim Fennerty's uh, son. That's right. So, uh, <laughs> so hopefully he'll bring some, uh, some players. Uh, but yeah, you go out and once you identify them, you say, I really like this guy. And, and then unfortunately they keep playing and you <laughs> got to recruit because other people start looking at them and you think, oh my goodness, I yeah. hope. I hope that uh, maybe he has a family event he has to yeah, go to yeah. and he can't make this uh, this this week's. Uh, but no, that's that's just the way it goes. And uh, and we're as I said, we're very happy to have someone like Hunter in our in our program. If you want to describe Fran O'Hanlon's basketball players, they have to be versatile basketball players, and that's what Fran got in a six-two guard out of Central Bucks West, Cal Reichwein. Uh, I see where him, where he and your other recruit, Kyle Stout, both played AAU ball together on the uh, same team. Ta tell us a little bit about Cal. Well, actually, Cal played on, they had two teams uh, mm -hmm. with uh, the Jersey Shore Warriors, Tony Sagona and, and Cal's team. But, yeah, they, they know each other. But Cal is another one with high basketball IQ. Uh, he is, uh, can shoot the basketball, really is a good passer. Um, we really like uh, his, his game. Um, and it's interesting, we have two, uh, his, his father played in the NFL as did Monty's father, mm -hmm. so we have a couple NFLers on, on our team as well. Um, but he comes from a great program, they were in the districts last year at CB West, uh, and uh, you know, Adam Sherman is his, is his high school mm -hmm. coach, long time, had a lot of success down there, and that, that's important, I think, recruiting people that have had success and have been coached before. How are the young men defensively? Uh, we just look at the offense work. right now, Gary. <laughs> when they get here, we're going to start working on the defense. Yeah. Uh, that's when they'll hear the defensive word. Def def <laughs> See, Fran, Fran still believes defense is a thing that goes around the yard. Uh, but, but Fran, you know, I only had a few seconds to look at, uh, at Rick Wine, and I, I don't know why, but 
he reminded me a lot of Tim Big. Now, I think he's got a little more size. Uh, folks who have followed the program for years remember, you know, right. Timmy was part of those championship teams, and he was just a clever, smart player. The only time he shot the ball was when it went in. Uh, he was just, and he was one of those connectors. Well, you're right. Uh, I think that the, that's a great analogy there. I think that Tim Big was a, just a solid basketball player, made great decisions, could pass the ball, could shoot the basketball. Uh, shared the basketball, and I think that uh, Cal brings a lot of those same qualities to the court. The final young man is Kyle Stout, as he uh, he accepted uh, the Lafayette scholarship very early, uh, about the middle of the year last year, officially uh, signed here today. Kyle Stout, a local young man, plays for Parkland High School, an outstanding high school program here in the Lehigh Valley. And uh, I know you were very high on Kyle. He's a great shooter. He's got good size. Uh, somebody you really want to see come to campus. Yeah, I'm so excited to get somebody from the Valley, you mm -hmm, know, mm -hmm. uh, coached by uh, a legend, uh, Andy Stevens, who's done a great job. I mean, Parkland has been dominant the last couple of years in, in the Valley, and they have everybody back. Uh, coming from a program like that, um, I, I think Kyle has a terrific upside. I really do. He's, he can really shoot the basketball. Uh, he's... Uh, He's a great young man, uh, and I think that the Valley's going to embrace him as they already have, and uh, I think it's great having somebody from... from Key Parkland. element in, in, in your system is catch and shoot. I mean, you play the passing game, and I've seen great shooters come in here, Fran, and great shooters out of high school, and it's two weeks before they can make a shot because fundamentally they're never going to get that shot off that they got off in high school. I think Kyle comes in ahead of the game. I mean, he, he, you, you watch his footwork, and so there'll be changes, but he's got room to put on weight, but his skill set is perfect for you. Well, it's got, he's got a great skill set, and he's got size. You know, he can mm -hmm. see over defenses, and uh, and I think that helps enormously when you make that transition to college. And you're right, it, it's so different. I mean, the speed of the game is just so different in college uh, from high school. It's more physical, uh, but I think he's going to be able to make that adjustment quicker. France team opens up on Friday night against George Washington. You will be able to see them on the Lafayette Sports Network at 2 o'clock on Sunday afternoon when St. Peter's comes into town prior to that ball game. Special ceremony as the championship banner for the Patriot League from last season will be unveiled here at the Kirby Sports Center. My thanks to both coaches, to John Leone, and to all of you for spending this afternoon with us. Go Leopards. I'm Gary Laubach. Goodbye for now.